Achieving success in college is difficult. Doing it after a stint in the military can be much harder. Student veterans are a fast-growing group of men and women who have served in the armed forces and are currently pursuing higher education. There are about 660,000 student veterans nationwide, and together they make up around 3% of undergrads. Active duty personnel, that is current members of the military who are not yet veterans, add another 1% to that statistic. And their numbers will only continue to climb as approximately 2 million veterans enroll in college over the next decade, a rise that is unprecedented since the aftermath of World War II. Student veterans are not only unique because of their military experience, but also because of where they are in life when they begin college. A typical American student is between 18 and 23, but 85% of student veterans fall outside of this range. Almost half of them are married and about the same number have children. This means their priorities, lifestyle, and experiences will be very different than those of a typical college student. Student veterans differ in many ways from their traditional undergrad counterparts. First off, they're diverse. They range in background, age, and gender, and each have had unique military experiences that play a part in shaping their worldview. Many of them enter college with a family already in tow, leading them also to have different educational goals than a traditional student might. These differences sometimes lead student vets to feeling alienated on campus, especially when compared to the high commodity environment of the military. With its heavy focus on individual responsibility, the college routine can also present difficult adjustment for veterans who are used to having very clearly defined tasks assigned to them throughout the day. To succeed, veterans need your understanding, compassion, and respect. The differences between student veterans and traditional college students can present many challenges, but vets also have their own unique set of assets that serve them well during their college careers. For starters, they are goal-oriented, mission-driven, and typically put great effort into completing assigned tasks. Their strong work ethic and self-sufficient nature serve them well when they are met with challenges. They understand the concept of sacrifice and have no qualms about putting others first. They are respectful and protective of those around them, especially authority figures whom they view with a militaristic deference. Lastly, they are detail-oriented and will follow directions to a T, provided they are given proper instruction. While these unique assets often help student vets achieve success in college, some of the same traits can end up working against them without faculty guidance. The first one that comes to mind is self-sufficiency. While this sounds like a strong asset, it can end up being a hindrance when student vets refuse to ask for assistance. They sometimes view getting help as a sign of weakness and should be encouraged to speak up when they need further direction or guidance. This is especially true when they are given ambiguous instruction. This can be a frustrating experience for vets who are used to being told exactly what is expected of them. These students can sometimes experience difficulty expressing their emotions. For a group trained to place the mission and the safety of their teammates above their own safety, they can sometimes find it difficult to advocate for themselves. Beyond their unique personality traits, student vets have additional challenges facing them as they readjust into civilian and student life. Administratively, their military experience may not easily transfer to college credit or employable skills, and trying to adapt one skill set to fit another can be a frustrating process. Financially, moving from an environment where salary and stability are guaranteed into civilian life where financial stability may be lacking and uncertainty abounds is a difficult adjustment to make. Socially, veterans sometimes feel that non-veterans simply can't understand what they've been through and can have difficulty relating to their civilian peers, particularly when peers are much younger and less mature. The military stigma plays right into this social difficulty. Whether real or perceived, some veterans believe people hate the military and fear service members. Far too common questions include, what was combat like? Or even, did you shoot or kill anyone? It should be without saying that these types of emotional and personal questions are incredibly insensitive and unacceptable. Student veterans are a diverse bunch, but they have some things they would collectively like you to know. Every veteran has had unique experiences that make them who they are, and no two veterans are alike. Do not assume you know my politics or beliefs just because I was in the military. Post-traumatic stress is a normal reaction to an abnormal experience. I may not be thrilled to work in groups with 18-year-old students. I may or may not be ready to talk about my experience. Leave that up to me. Trust can be an issue for me, and I may have to take a time out or not sit in front of the class. Being friendly and listening can go a long way towards building that trust. Do not be afraid of me. Veterans are no more violent than the civilian population. We're accustomed to being successful in completing the mission. We seek to do the same with our civilian lives. Creating a successful and inviting environment for student veterans is all about fostering a culture of trust. Go out of your way to make student vets feel welcome and safe in your presence. 
Try to make your syllabus and instructions as clear and unambiguous as possible. Be willing to provide extra support and structure while maintaining a critical thinking mission for your students. Take time to get to know your students early in the term through icebreaker exercises or one-on-one -on -one interviews. Breaking down communication barriers early can prevent escalation of issues related to military service or other life experiences that may arise later. Simple questions such as, which branch of the military do you serve in? Or what was your job in the military? Can create a meaningful dialogue that can make a huge difference for a veteran in transition. It's hard to provide simple instructions on how to interact with such a large and diverse group of people. While every veteran is certainly different, they do share some common characteristics and experiences that can lend insight on how to begin building your relationship. As you develop trust with your student veterans, you will see them become some of the most pleasant and productive members of your classroom, office, or work environment. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about veterans and military members on campus.